For my presentation, I will be talking about moral relativism and specifically foods across cultures. Um, so as I was thinking about what I do on a daily basis is I came to the conclusion that on average, I probably eat hamburger, hot dogs, or chicken at least three or four times a week. And I thought, could I relate this to uh, my eating habits to an ethical theory we have studied? Um, yes, moral, moral relativism. And now more than ever, moral relativism should be discussed. Food is recently a topic of discussion in the world as coronavirus has uh, begun. And coronavirus and its origination is a big topic of discussion. The consensus is that it originated in Wuhan, China, but specifics are still unknown exactly. But many people believe that it began from a man eating a bat in his suit. Um, after this information came out, people were extremely quick to jump on China's eating habits. And although this may be disgusting to us and other natures and cultures, we shouldn't be so quick to judge. Nations around the world are quick to point fingers, and especially in the U.S., I've seen a lot of racially charged comments. People have said some extremely cruel things to the nation of China, and there has been an explicit discrimination amongst the Asian race. And people are calling for China to ban certain foods that they eat. If you want to look at this article, you can, but I'll just explain it. So there is a spokesperson for the... Department of Health and Human Services named Michael Caputo. And he's also, he was just about to be appointed the Secretary of Public, Appa Public Affairs. And overall, there's a heated, heated exchange between him and some Chinese diplomats. And he started to say some disrespectful things about China's eating habits after the Chinese diplomats started to accuse the U.S. of bringing in the coronavirus to China. And what he ended up saying was, don't you have a bat to go eat? This is an extremely disrespectful thing to say, and it sets a bad example, especially for someone of his power and authority, being a secretary for public affairs. And it just sets an extremely bad example. Another thing I saw was on Twitter, and you can read that for yourself. But this man, he has a lot of followers. And a lot of people are probably influenced by him. And to say that is extremely disrespectful and just creates a bad example for a lot of people. It's, it's not good. Although China uh, eats different foods than us, it is no reason to jump on their dietary habits. The guy eating a bat wasn't planning for this to happen. And lots of cultures eat different foods. The U.S. eats a lot of meat, such as hamburger, hot dogs, chicken, bratwurst, all kinds of things. And these kinds of foods are considered weird in other cultures. But what I've seen is that if something originated out of the U.S. from hamburger meat, which there has been from cow meat and, or from hamburger and chicken, would an American say all this because some dirty blank wanted to eat hamburger? People are so quick to judge other cultures but not reflect on their own. So after taking all things into consideration, we should, should we have a discussion about what is okay? If our country, as well as others, criticize each other's dietary habits, should we as a world develop moral absolutes of what is not okay to eat? Or is there no such thing as morality when it comes to the animals we, we choose to eat? Or should we be okay with the fact that different cultures eat different animals? Lastly, or lastly we could also consider animal liberation, and just protecting all species of animals and preserving life? Or should we develop a plan based on ecological wholeness, which allows people to consume species that may be overpopulated, which will actually protect other species and create a balance in the ecosystem? In my opinion, when it comes to foods, morality should be relative to one's culture. And another country's diet may seem weird to you, but it is a social norm that has been passed down generation to generation. Just because you wouldn't eat it doesn't mean you should judge another's culture because it's extremely disrespectful. We should start evaluating how we think, and then we can also have a discussion of what should be deemed right or wrong. But 
from what I thought, I thought most people had an understanding that foods were relative to one's culture. But clearly that is not the case. After the coronavirus has started, there's an extreme discrimination against the Asian race and a lot of cruel things said to the nation of what they eat and their culture overall. So just because something bad happens, it shouldn't give you the right to attack their culture.